beautiful. Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of the Shamir Shah Project. Is it morning where you are? Is it afternoon? Is it evening? I just wanted to point out that right there, if you can see it in the distance, is where I am camping. And uh, I've put together this hike. It's a brand new hike for me. Um, it's around about 13 miles between 13 and 14 miles we'll see how it goes but in terms of my measurement on the map uh, obviously using a paper map use a string to measure sometimes you've got inaccuracies of about half a mile to a mile um, so what I can see it's about 13 miles it started off lovely it's a beautiful beautiful day a bit overcast but we've still got some sunshine so I'm hoping it stays like this all day because that would be fantastic. I know from the forecast, it shows a bit of sunshine, a bit of cloud, and the trouble with being up in the hills is the weather can be unexpected and unpredictable at times. And I've already spotted some uh, monk jack and another herd of deer further back there. Uh, there were probably about six or seven of them and they were separated. One was on one side, one group was on the other. And it were oh, amazing, amazing in the woods. I mean, I did make a bit of noise because of the uh, tree branches and the leaves crunching under my feet, but they just looked at me as I was at a distance. They just looked at me and just continued grazing. And I saw the monk jack in the woods just back there. Beautiful hillside with the uh, woodland at the top. I am heading that way over that ridge line there and then over the top and back down. 
but I just spoke to a, uh, uh, a local dog walker and he said to me, if I go along the ridge, there is a huge number of uh, bluebells up there. Now that would be really nice to see. However, it is a long hike and I don't want to spend too much time going off track and then coming back. So I'll see if I want to go along that ridge line there. Once I get to the top, I'll see how I feel. See, it's not only the uh, bluebells that are out and about at the moment, but it's the perfect time for these beautiful little flowers. Hawthorn, normally growing along hedgerows, as you see here. another couple of deer I would film it but they've gone into the woods right in the corner there they were right there and they've gone into the woods anyway we're now climbing up the hill to uh, towards Hasto oh by the way I'm in the Chiltern Hills um, once again as always love the Chilterns little reporting to do uh, got lost for a little bit there's a trail I've mapped out on my OS map paper map so it's a hard copy map and there's a little path uh, which goes up towards Hasto Hasto Hill and then cuts further up the hill however there was no path and as I was trying to figure out what's going on, where is this path, what's happening, I couldn't find any sort of indication there's a path there. So what ended up happening is me trying to figure out on the map, right, this doesn't make sense, let's get it right, because it's a steep hill, I don't want to be to the top and then not be able to uh, find another trail from there. Anyway, in that meantime, a group of DOV kids came along who happened to have the same trail drawn on the map and they couldn't find the way up either. They didn't know where they were going. So I managed to figure out that that is the way we have to bushwhack and trailblaze and go off piste a little bit and go up that hill, which we did, and then found the connecting path at the top of the hill. Needless to say, it was quite dangerous for the kids dangerous for me as it was very steep and slippery uh, but dangerous for the kids and I hope Ordnance Survey views this video to uh, see where we uh, can manage to take that off the map including their digital maps I will be reporting it say hello <laughs> hi hi darling can I say hi yeah. hi Yes, you're beautiful. You it are is. beautiful. Very nice beautiful. Take care. This is them. Now, I don't want to keep banging on about what happened back there with the uh, DOV group but I'm very glad my leadership skills kicked in my guiding skills uh, and the fact that they had an individual who was struggling you could see it he was way behind when they came up the opposite trail he was a bit lagging really tired um, and then they got stuck and lost where I was standing looking for that trail going up the hill 
So I was happy to be able to help them, guide them up the hill. I stayed behind the fellow who was struggling. And then once we made it up, I showed them the way and off they went. But you could say they caught me at the right time. Looks like a very damp woodland. You've got moths growing up the trees quite far up. For example, this one. Look at that, all the way to the top. And we got some bluebells. Absolutely incredible. I am surrounded by bluebells. It is that time of year. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. What an incredible forest. This is an absolute beautiful pocket of natural goodness. Wow, I've never, never seen anything like this. What makes it so atmospheric is these little plants growing here, the green, fresh spring plants with the leaves that have just popped out. Absolutely stunning. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. It is incredible. It is incredible, I must say. That is just special. That's magic. It's nature's mystical magic. Wow. I think my clients are gonna love this. If I introduce the hike I'm currently doing for my intermediate or expert level clients, people who walk a lot and are ready to do big miles, I think this would be one stunning place for them to visit. And this is just one on this walk. There's a field, an ocean field full of bluebells. Uh, obviously that only occurs during uh, spring in, in April, May, early May. But there's beautiful hillsides, there's beautiful forests. It's just stunning, absolutely stunning. As I mentioned earlier, intermediate, advanced hikers would love this trail. And I have been asked several times by different people, do you do longer hikes? Longer day hikes? Um, well, I think this might be one of them. I really do. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Look at this woodland.
half to three quarters of a mile to go. And then I'm gonna head back to the van, pack up the camping gear and head back home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like down below. If you got to the end of the video and you're not a subscriber, then please go ahead and subscribe at the top here or down below. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. It does you no harm. It just supports my channel. Simple as that. Um, and if you're interested in hiking and hiking trails and camping and all that good stuff, then please check out my website. It's www.shamirshah.com. I've got lots of hiking trips there. New ones going to be put on, uh, maybe even including this one. Uh, on the website and also lots more dates to come for summer going into autumn perfect time to be hiking autumn wow the colors anyway have a good one and see you out and about